Now, I'm your host, Marsha Florence, for Just Dance. Today's show, ladies and gentlemen, is Searching for the Next Conscious Chef. Hurry back and join us. I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Dance. Today's show, ladies and gentlemen, is searching for the next conscious chef. And you know I like to bring people back time and time again. So without further ado, I'm bringing back today Kelly Michia of Solar Life and Fitness. Good morning, Kelly. Hello. Glad yes. to see you again. <laughs> you too. <laughs> now, Kelly, we did have some calls about plant-based meals. So we had to have you come back. Well, thank and you I'm glad to see back. it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let me go over the, f the first meal you prepared for us. It was a tuna sandwich, which mm -hmm. was made out of chickpea and what else? Um, it had um, red onion, celery, carrots, uh, tahini, mustard, and capers. Yeah. You know, it, it, if, if a person didn't know that that was uh, chickpea, mm -hmm. it would give out the little flavor like, is this tuna? Mm -hmm. But it was actually a great sandwich. Yes. And the green drink was kale. Kale. Um, um, mixed fruit, fruit. Mm -hmm. okay, and, and a little just, water. Just water, that's it. Yeah. That was, that's a healthy drink. That's the yes. cleaning drink, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Okay, okay. And I can't mm -hmm. forget about the chocolate balls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the chocolate balls was sensational because that was what they call cacao. Yeah, cacao, cacao powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. and had nuts. I used walnuts mm -hmm. and, uh, and dates. Mm -hmm. yep. The dates well, gave it just a little enough sweetness. Right. Right. Okay, so for mm -hmm. our future plant based friends, what are you having for us today? Today I'm making black bean burgers. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get started with the black bean burgers. All right. Yeah, it doesn't have to be black beans, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm using black beans today. I have okay. about two cups. Um, okay. I'm using um, canned mm -hmm. uh, beans, but of course, again, you can buy dried and soak them and, and cook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when you buy canned, you always rinse them off. I do, but I okay. also, yeah, use no salt. Okay. Add it. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And for vegetables, um, again, you can use anything. I'm using red pepper, red bell pepper, mushrooms, and onions. Okay. Those are my choices today. But you can add zucchini, whatever you so want. So vegetables are your own choice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. You can be creative. All right. I always mm -hmm. think when I see a bell pepper that it's hot, especially when I see a red one, <laughs> and it's not it's hot. Not, no, it's not hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Where am I? Yeah, because yeah. that's a nice, big, pretty pepper there. Yes. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know me. I always tell you, if you have a show idea or if you think you want to stand in my shoes, sample the food, or if you want to stand in Kelly's shoes, prepare a meal, 1-800-323-5336, Twitter, hashtag, Facebook, Marsha. All that good stuff will get you on the show here and take the place of myself or Kelly. Because I know a lot of you say, all the food that you sample, Marsha, can't be that good. Well, believe it or not, it is. You know, <laughs> the eyes don't lie. So, <laughs> so if I tell you it's good, it's good. Not only is it good, it's healthy. So we're trying to help you learn how to curve your appetites from having sugar all the time, meat all the time, greasy foods, fatty foods. Learn to put a nutritional meal in your plan, and that way you can start to transfer from what you call the norm to something more healthy. So Kelly's here with us today as a plant-based specialist. Okay, and I do mean specialist because she turned me on. So, so, so plant-based person who is, um, you know, well-versed in her knowledge of plant-based products. So Kelly, now what's the organization that you're part of? PBNSD, Plant-Based Nutrition Support Group. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. All right, and those of you who are going through something critical such as um, cholesterol issues, um, diabetes, things like that, this may be one of the programs that's better serving you because you get a chance to change your uh, meal plans around so that your doctor can say you're doing the right thing. 
and you can probably possibly eliminate your diabetes, possibly mm -hmm. uh, control your cholesterol at a better level than always having to take a pill. Really, ladies and gentlemen, it's about the food, okay? When, when a doctor tells you you're over uh, cholesterol or sodium and stuff like that, it's about the food, and it's just time to change. Mm -hmm. So Kelly, I had, to get, yeah, I had to get that out because a lot of yeah. people are just like, well, I'm just going to live like this. You don't have to. No, you don't no. Have to. All right, you so sign us, ladies and gentlemen, because she's here and make some noise. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So I'm just mixing the vegetables first. Okay. Okay. Um, and I got to ask you what you mixed, because I was so busy talking there. So what did you put in there? Um, red pepper, mm -hmm. mushrooms, and onions. You okay. just coarsely cut them, because you're going to chop them up, you know. Okay. So you don't have to, like, mince them yourself. And then I'm going to add the beans. Again, you can use uh, different beans. Um, red kidney beans, chickpeas. I see beans is a big beans. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. It's all about <laughs> <Whatever>. the beans. <laughs> you know, they are high in fiber and they yes, have they lots are. of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, so yeah, they're good. Now, with a plant-based diet, you really don't count calories or anything, correct? Right. Yeah. So, it's really easy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You don't have to worry about portion control, counting calories, because it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. All right. And for spices, you can add anything. Today, I'm going to add some oregano. Okay. okay and that's one, one thing. When you say it's a lifestyle, mm -hmm. that means that, you know, it's your, your, the way you want to eat something without having to measure it all the time. Right. Okay. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. you know, you can measure out like teaspoon and, and things like that, but you don't have to worry about calories, which is great. Uh, this is garlic powder. Okay. All right. So, so can you imagine, about one ladies and gentlemen, not having to measure stuff? All you gotta do is put it together, cause why? It's plant based. What's plant based? No meat, no plant. dairy, no cheese, and no eggs. Adding uh, some black pepper. Okay. And you can also add chili powder, turmeric, uh, curry powder, whatever you want. Whatever okay. what spice that you like. Okay. And then I actually give you a, a flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'll be and that's what we're all there. looking for. When, you know what? One thing about eating food, you're always looking for the flavor in the food. You're not so much concerned about, you look at the picture of the food, of course, the plating. But at the end of it, you're like, I hope this tastes good. So if mm -hmm. Kelly's making this burger for us that's plant-based and it's not meat, then what she's doing is putting the flavor in there for us so that you can say to yourself, if I'm going to have a plant-based burger, it has to be seasoned the way I like it. Yep. Okay. And I'm also adding red chili pepper. Do you like it hot or? Really, Kelly? Do I look like a hot? <laughs> well, I ain't gonna answer no. That. Okay. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. She's no, so yeah, hot. it's not gonna be too hot. Just a little bit. That's okay. probably one of them ingredients she shouldn't have told me she had. I'm like, I don't do hot. Okay. I don't do hot. You okay. don't do hot. I okay. don't do hot. So let me ask you this. So mm -hmm. in your house, every night, the food processor goes on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty much. And okay. blender. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, what do we have there? And for binding, I'm using uh, oats, rolled oh. oats, old-fashioned okay. rolled oats. Yeah. So okay. it'll just hold together. Yeah. All right. Well, oatmeal will do the trick. You know I got more questions. If a person doesn't have a food processor, can they still make that? Um, you can, yeah. You can mince all the vegetables and just okay. mix uh, and mash the beans okay. and put right. everything together. So we don't want everybody to run mm. out and try to, you know, buy a food processor and not going to use it every day. Okay. But those of you who do have a food processor, this is one of the meals you can make and, and many more. Okay. Even if you got a KitchenAid. You know, KitchenAid does some of the same things too. Okay. So I can imagine if I come to your house, mm -hmm. I know this is not on the kitchen table all the time. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Kelly is a pro at this machine here, okay? All right, and um, if you want to add more oats, you know, mm -hmm. um, you can do that. You can also add flaxseed, like flaxseed meal. Right. Yeah. Okay. To, to bind everything together. Okay. Can you pass me that? Sure. Pan? And you're going to make patties. Yeah, and I'm using parchment, parchment okay. paper. Parchment paper, yeah. okay. So you know, good. parchment paper has become real, real popular in the last six months or so, okay? It used to be a time you didn't have parchment paper. Now, everybody's using parchment paper, okay? So the parchment paper is what we're accustomed to, mm -hmm. okay? It's and almost like wax paper, but it's a different texture. Yeah, and it doesn't stick. Okay. Um, I don't use oil, because oil is processed, so... Oh, that so that's why it's to. on the parchment paper. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And while this is cooking, I'm going to make oil-free dressing. Wow. Now, I'm looking at this, and if I didn't know it was supposed to be a burger, I would think that it was more like a big chocolate cookie. <laughs> That goes to show you, I like stuff sweet anyway. But, uh, but, but it does. It does look like a big chocolate cookie. Doesn't look like it's a burger. <laughs> so in my house, the kids come in the room. They're gonna be like, "Isn't that a cookie?" <laughs> like, go ahead and eat it. Okay? You can eat it. Just yeah. Go ahead and eat it, kids. Okay. Yeah. So, but no, that's the, you know, that's just saying if you don't know what you're looking at, you know, you just assume it's something else and it's not what you assume. <laughs> like this is that. Okay. But I always want to think that. When you come to Just Ask, or if you tune in to Just Ask, you learn something. So some of you should just go ahead and email me and tell me what your thoughts are about Just Ask, as well as our guests, if you like our show, and if you don't like our show, I find that hard to believe. But if you like our show, you want to tell us, you know, what else would you like to see us do? Well, believe it or not, we have fitness programs coming up. So just when you thought we were all about sit down and talking and cooking, we had to add another component in there, which is fitness. So look in the future for our fitness programs, which means there'll be someone always trying to show you a step or two to how to better fit yourself or make yourself more fit. So don't always think that when you tune in now, you're going to see Kelly, you're going to see Ann, mm -hmm. you're going to see a chef or uh, Chef Donis Hicks or Carmela uh, McIntyre. You may see a different variety of people all the time, but now you get a chance to see some fitness folks do their thing. So we, let's get ready for that. All right, now. All right. Oh, Kelly. I have six patties. Okay. All right, so let's put this in the oven. All right, so you need me to do that? or You, you want to do that? Sure, okay. let yeah. me do some. <laughs> okay. Okay, and what's the oven set on? Should I ask uh, you that? 400 degrees. Okay. Um, and we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes, or a little bit longer. Um, okay. 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can also cook it longer for um, like maybe 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. Yeah. All right. But when you press with time, 400 okay. degrees and 10 minutes. So notice, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the first half. So I tell you what, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Today in America, drug and alcohol addiction is a major public health crisis. Addiction is one of the defining public health crises of our time. There is no single face of addiction. It impacts all of us and our families. Opioid overdose takes a life every 19 minutes. The time has come to improve prevention and to stop treating addiction as a moral failing. We need to start seeing it for what it is, a chronic disease of the brain that must be treated with urgency and compassion. More than 27 million people use illicit drugs or misuse prescription drugs. Over 66 million people binge drink at least once a month. Together, we can change the conversation and focus on preventing substance use disorders and connecting people who are suffering with the treatment, services, and recovery support they need. We will not hide from this issue because it's hard to talk about. Prevention works. Treatment is effective. Recovery is possible for everyone. For the first time, the United States Surgeon General has prepared a report on alcohol, drugs, and health. Our goal, to provide real hope for the millions of people and their families suffering from addiction. Together, we can prevent alcohol and drug-related addiction. And with treatment, we can give those suffering a new outlook on life. Facing Addiction in America, the Surgeon General's Report on Alcohol, Drugs, and Health. To read the report, Please visit addiction.surgeongeneral.gov. Over a million Americans.
Americans at risk of foreclosure have been helped by making home affordable. Find out now what your options are. A home where I belong. And welcome back to the second half of the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Kelly had already started with the burgers themselves. And what were the burgers called? Because I know it's got a name. Black bean burgers. Black bean burgers. Yeah. Okay. Black so the black bean burgers are in the oven. Mm -hmm. You yep. said it takes about 10 minutes. Yep. Okay. So they're starting. Mm -hmm. And what do we have next? I'm making oil-free salad dressing. Oil-free salad yeah. dressing. You know yeah. I got to see this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because okay. if you buy dressing at stores, it usually has a lot of junk in it. Mm -hmm. It might have sugar. It might have a lot of oil, very high in fat. Uh, it might have a lot of chemicals, the things that you don't want. So mm, but this the is things your that you like for some reason. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm using... Uh, balsamic vinegar, it's about six tablespoons here, and mm -hmm. also one tablespoon of maple syrup. So okay. it's a, you're using a little bit of sugar, okay. not, not a, a lot. You know I'm going okay. to okay. okay. And I'm going to put some mustard and okay. berries. I'm using berries, about two cups wow. of fresh berries. Okay. And I'm going to mix all that together okay. in a blender. Yep. All right, so, so that's what makes it all free. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Now I noticed that you use mustard both times, but you mm -hmm. like is that just your mustard? This is Dijon, yeah. Okay, Dijon. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So but you can use yellow mustard too. Oh yes. Oh, yeah, you can right. use whatever. Some people mustard. might not like Dijon as much as mm -hmm. they do yellow mustard. And we always like to know what would be the alternatives to something. So quick yeah. question. A person who wants to transition from uh, being a vegan to plant-based, is there uh, like a transition or is they all the same? Oh, okay. Vegan just means no animal products. Okay. Um, so if you're talking about a vegan diet, uh, it just means that you're not consuming any animal products. So somebody who is vegan might be consuming potato chips and drinking beer mm -hmm. and <laughs> not necessarily being healthy. Mm -hmm. um, whole food plant-based is no much beer. healthier. No <laughs> well, it, it doesn't mean no beer necessarily, but just you're trying to avoid processed food as much as possible. It doesn't okay. mean 100% free of you know processing, but minimally okay. processed food. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just four ingredients here. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Now I could have ate the bowl of the raspberries and blueberries with a little whipped cream, but the whipped cream was made of some type of egg product, so we could <laughs> dairy, so we couldn't do that. Okay. Gonna be loud again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay. Now, if that's a person it. doesn't have Super. a food processor, is that a, a traditional blender? Or that's this more than that's more than a blender. So, what is that? This uh, um, this is called Vitamix. Okay. It's, just, it's very powerful. Yes, it is. Yeah, but you okay. can use a regular blender. Okay. Yeah, it okay. Take I don't want anybody to get discouraged that they want to make the right. same meal right. and then they don't have the you know industrial items to do so. And they say, well, she made it, but I can't make it. So this way, mm -hmm. if you tell a person that you can use. Uh, your, high, uh, your household items still, ladies and gentlemen, the meal will turn out about the same, okay, or it can mm -hmm. be the same, yeah. okay, depends yeah. on, you know, the, the work you want to put into it, but our whole goal for you, ladies and gentlemen, is to make sure that you get a nutritional meal in 30 minutes or less. If you're caring for a loved one, an elderly person, or a person with a disability, don't just give them a white bread sandwich. Start to prepare good delectable meals that they can digest, uh, cleanse their system out, feel better. Um, something that, you know, is nutritional to you is also nutritional to the elderly and the disabled. So I'm asking you to consider when you're transitioning for yourself, if you can, take your whole family with you in transitioning from fatty foods, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. uh, foods that cause diabetes and all those kind of things. And I'm sure that you will send us a nice letter to get a Kelly to tell her thank you. <laughs> All right. So, okay, Kelly, I'm sorry. We missed so the step there. Just, uh, I can't uh, talk uh, in one. Okay. <laughs> Greens, mm -hmm. and I'm using, like, shredded carrots, so it's easy. Okay. Yeah, and they're readily available, and I, I cut up cucumber. That's oh, okay. It. It's a very simple Now, I know that cucumber. What kind of cucumber is that? It's, it's, I mean, it's a little unusual. It's mini, so. uh, I think they're called Persian okay. cucumber. And yeah. they don't have seeds in them? Uh, they, do they? they do, but not big ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, are you the type that just want to drizzle 
um, whatever you want to do. on top, do, or just girl. mix everything whatever together. Whatever you want to okay, do, because I'm going to sample it anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just impressed with the fact that that's uh, blueberries and raspberries. That's like you that's like any, raspberry yeah. vinaigrette. You can, yeah, you can use any berries. I just happen to have raspberries and blueberries, but you okay. can use strawberries. Um, yeah, it's like vinaigrette with that oil, so it's not, yeah. It's okay, not. I mean, I just had a salad not too long ago, and it had raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, organic lettuce, and pecans. Nice. Yeah, well, it was pretty yeah. good. And you know I threw some chicken on it. <laughs> I had to tell her the truth, okay? It was some grilled chicken on there, and I was like, oh, man. Okay, but I'm learning, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to teach you as I'm learning, too, that we're going to start eating better, okay? I'm going to add some sunflower seeds. You can should add. I check our burgers, Kelly, or are they doing their thing? Because they smell good. Yeah. I can smell them. They smell good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can... Okay, let me take Check a peek down. at them. Yeah. I don't want the viewers to think that we're shamming them over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that big chocolate coconut cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just gonna and that salad looks oh, good. I mean, that mm -hmm. wasn't hard at all. To just no, to it's tell very the truth. easy. Yeah. And, you know, if you have other vegetables, you can add them. Uh, I can actually add um, red bell pepper since I have that. Anyway. Now, would you just eat a salad like that without the burger? I would, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I usually have. I mean, a don't be shocked. I'm just <laughs> like, some people don't want meat that day. Okay. I usually have a big, huge salad. Yeah. Little old you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going. Okay. That yeah, looks pretty good. Um, then. Add tomatoes here. And it's impressive when you're, when you're preparing meals for other people because what you're doing is you're putting your name on something saying, you know what, I want my family to enjoy this, and especially children. Children are impressed with colors. So when mm -hmm. a child sees a plate that's decorative and then the, the, the tomatoes look fresh and uh, the greens <laughs> look fresh, they're going to put their little hands in there, but it's okay. So when they put their little hands in there and start eating tomatoes, you got them. Okay, so normally when you want to feed children, you do want to have that plate looking very colorful because their little eyes are always going to be dazzled by the colors that you mm -hmm. put on the plate. Same thing for your elderly. Make sure it looks good so they can say, can I try that? Okay. So yeah, I tell you what, Kelly, I'm going to put some onion in there. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, for the burger, I'm getting oh. ready. <laughs> okay, she's for getting ready for the burger. That means we're getting ready to eat in a few minutes. Yeah. We're going to take a break so we can get ready to eat in a few minutes. We'll be right back. That's low. That's the low. average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. And welcome back to the last half of the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know the burgers must be done by now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in the last half. So, Kelly, do you think they're done? Yes. All yeah. right. Well, so, <laughs> you, you want me to take them, them out? Yes. Okay. 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 So, Kelly, now, with the plant-based diet, mm -hmm. you see, is, the, is there a so-called nutritional value or not? Oh, absolutely. You're focusing on micronutrients, vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals, the, the things that the body needs okay. um, for proper functioning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, instead of focusing on macronutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Uh -huh. um, yeah, our focus is on micronutrients. So yeah, very nutritious. Low in calories, oh. high in nutrients. Low in calories, yeah. high in nutrients. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, they look good. Let me smell good. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So I have some hummus and mustard here. Oh, wow. Um, this plate looks cute. <laughs> okay. Now, did you make the bread today, too? Yes. <laughs> Girl, take her home. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, that's why we got parchment paper, so yeah. it won't stick. Okay. <laughs> oh, there wow. There you go. Oh, so, so that's that. So quick question. Now, mm -hmm. that doesn't, okay, so I'm just going to move this over a little mm -hmm. bit and put my, oh, you know we got to get a shot, and where's my salad? Nope. Oh, salad, sal yeah. You know I need a Tahitian <laughs> drink and all this. You, you sure this is not a summer meal? 
I need to do this in the summertime. Can we get a shot of that guy? Oops, I lost the tomato. Get that right away, camera. Okay. <laughs> okay, can we get a shot of that? Now, Kelly, now, so you guys wouldn't even have oh, thank you. Oh. ketchup and mustard, right? You don't do plant-based. Well, I'm just asking. Ketchup, yeah, uh, you can. It does have sugar in it. You want to read the label. You can also make your own ketchup. <laughs> okay, so let's get a shot of this salad. Definitely get a shot of this burger. And you can watch Marsha. Okay, so I hope you guys got it. Now I'm going to try the salad first. Okay, the salad is really pretty. All right. It's got just enough little dressing on it. And I see spinach, so I'm mm -hmm. going to try to So, yeah, it's not swimming in dressing. Thank you. Mmm. No, it's not swimming in dressing at all. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yum, yum. That's good. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if I want to put everything on my burger. So, let me try the burger first. Okay. Without the bread. Probably hot. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> okay. All right. It won my attention. Okay, so this is hummus. Hummus. Mm -hmm. And, and mustard. mustard. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm putting the mustard. A dab of hummus. Wow. This is good. Okay. And I actually can have the lettuce and tomato and just, it's really a sandwich. It's really mm -hmm. a burger. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it without the burger. So, okay, now, if a person chooses to try this sandwich here, what about the bread? Do they need to... No, you don't have to have bread. You can you can have uh, the burger. Um, Just on the list. Yeah, oh, with grains, um, steamed vegetables, things like that. You don't have to have bread. Okay. Yeah. Because you made homemade bread, so I'm asking that because our viewers are like, well, I can't make the mm -hmm. bread. Okay. So let me try this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Now, it's good. Good. All right. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm going to try with a piece of lettuce, just, just so you all know. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people ask me, where do you get your protein? Because that's the most often asked question. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't really have to worry. If you're consuming enough calories, you're getting all the essential amino acids that you need. And all the plant foods have all the essential amino acids. So you don't have to worry about these um, the proteins. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. 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 Kelly, I know I asked you to come back again. <laughs> But will you come back again? Sure. Okay. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's really good. I mean, when you're watching it be put together, you kind of question, like, really? But actually, when you eat it, it's good. Mm -hmm. So and I want you all to consider, if you need to, call us at 1-800-323-5336. Twitter, hashtag Facebook. We'll get you over to Kelly. You may want to come to the class. Who knows? But if you're interested in plant-based, you can find Kelly's information in her recipes on our website at justastalkshow.org. Kelly, I really appreciate you coming again. Thank you. Please join us a third time, okay? <laughs> well, I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Ask, and I got to eat when the camera will go out. So I just want you to know, if you have a show idea, give us a call. Um, if you like our show, let us know. And if you don't like our show, keep the comments to yourself. No, just let <laughs> us know. But we look forward to any, any comments you have. I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Ask, and what do I always say? If you know a person with a disability or if you just have a general question, don't be afraid to ask. Just ask. I'm your host. Thank you. <laughs>